You know him as the funny financial YouTuber that constantly keeps asking you to smash that like button. But how much money does he actually have in real life? Where does he spend it? Where does he invest it? Well, those are just some of the questions that we will be aiming to answer in how Graham Stephan spends his money. So let's just dive right into it, shall we? First things first, let's talk about his investments. Now, as you already know, this guy's a YouTuber. He has a channel that has somewhere close to 2.5 million subs, and another channel that boasts around 500k subs. So all in all, Graham has around 3 million subscribers total on both his channels. Why are we telling you this? Well, it's because we want to talk about something important. He decided to start his channel, he never thought that it would become as big as it is right now. And we decided to include his channels into the investment part of this video, because that's where he invests the most amount of time. It's just him, a camera, and the almighty YouTube algorithm. That's where he makes the most amount of money. Now, the most important thing we talked about is smashing that like button if you haven't done so already. <laughs> but no, it's actually the money. He makes roughly $100,000 per month from his first channel. On top of that, you have $15,000 from his second channel. So, now you know where he makes most of his money, but where does he keep it? Do they stay tied up in some bank accounts overseas? No, he actually invests it. Here, there are just some of the places he invests his money. First, he invests his money into real estate. For example, in 2012, he just as the market was slowly going up, Graham bought three properties in various price ranges. The first house he bought cost him $59,500, and you could say he more than made his money on the property as the house is now worth over a quarter million dollars. The next house he bought was a little bit more expensive, but still under $100,000. It cost him $72,000, and now the house is worth $250,000. And the third and final property he bought in 2012 was another house that he bought for $125,000. This investment made him a ton of money, as the house is currently worth a whopping $400,000. The next property he bought was in 2016, and the man paid $780,000 for this one. Now, this property is somewhere worth around $1.2 million. Just a year later, he bought his fifth that sent him back around $585,000. But the setback was temporary, as he can now sell it for $965,000. That's almost double the initial investment. And in one year time, the sixth house brought him for $835,000, earned him $65,000, meaning he can now sell it for $900,000. Some could say that his net worth is not as diversified as it could be, but it's still working for him. The man has a net worth of $6 million and he knows what he's doing. Out of all the investments, he keeps a huge part of his money stocked up in cash and treasury bills. How much cash and T-bills does he have laying around? Approximately $1.8 million. And that's not all. Since 2012, he constantly contributed to his retirement plan, and he now has $100,000 in a 401k and Roth IRA. But wait, isn't his channel new? Didn't he start making all of that money from YouTube only about a year ago? Yes and yes. His YouTube channel is not only the source of income, let's dive into his career and see how he managed to make $6 million by the age of 30. How Graham Becomes a Millionaire some rather interesting things began to happen when you aren't interested in school, and the only thing you could think of is money. Now, we need to tell you that Graham made his money through this one skill that we'll talk about in a second, but you should know that his parents weren't the ones that got him started. He's a completely self-made man. Now, when Graham was only 14 or 15 years old, he got a job in a store selling aquarium fish. His job was to take the photos of the fish that came in, photoshop them to make them look nice, and then upload them to the web. The salary? One dollar for every picture he managed to upload on the website. Now, when you're 15 and you make 20 to 35 bucks per hour, because that's how many pics he managed to get every single hour, at that point, school became useless for him. His grades went down, and he didn't pay attention in class. The only thing he could think about was how to make money. The answer to that question came when he looked at the famous musicians on TV. He started a band with a few friends from school where he was the drummer. 
Although they had some initial success, things went really bad, really fast. One time he saw some drummers in front of a theater and was disgusted by the way they lived. Basically, they had no money and nothing to their name, but the clothes on their backs and the little van they drove around and lived in. So his dream was shattered. He was now looking for something new to conquer. Seeing how much money the investment bankers made at the time, he wanted to become one of them. He worked as a data analyst in some big investment banks. The cubicle and the corporate environment were not his thing, so he quit after only six weeks of being there, and the next job he would find would become his bread and butter. Right around the time he finished high school, he was looking to get into one single college. Pepperdine University was his choice. He sent in the application and waited to get the letter of admission. Knowing his grades, his only other realm was shattered as well. Now, now what? Once again, he turned to the job market and he was looking for a profession that paid a lot. It is this point where he found real estate and becoming a real estate agent. Looking at houses all day, serving people and enjoying a commission based salary was his dream job. He took on as many clients as he could, never compromising quality of service and he rose to the top of his agency. With around $120 million worth of property sold, the guy's commission was around $2.5 million, or around $15,000 per month. He, this made him a millionaire at the age of 26. Now with that money, he could finally invest in something that he wanted to do for free, YouTube. And everything since then, as they say, is history. With all these properties, where does he live? If you know anything about Graham, you'll know that he's not a big spender. The only thing he likes to do with his money is invest and multiply it. Even his house is nothing special. It's a duplex that he bought in LA. He rents one part of it while renting the other. That way he could pay his mortgage with the rent's money from his tenants. What that means is Graham is able to live rent free in one of the most expensive cities in the world. Let us give you an example. His mortgage is around $2,800 for the entire property. Rent on one of these units is roughly $2,500. So now do you see how we manage to live rent free? The Tesla. Living frugally is the name of the game for Graham and he never spends money on things he cannot afford. Him buying the Tesla was one of those splurges and he finally got to replace the older car he had, the Lotus Escalage. The video was kind of clickbaity, so it got around 50,000 dislikes, but he did manage to buy a Tesla for $78 per month. Like I didn't lie, he showed us how to easily make a purchase on one, and even while selecting the specs, he stayed with the bare minimum. The only thing he added was the autopilot option. This added only $3,000 to the overall price of the car. The $20,000 Zenith watch. This is the second thing he decided to spend big money on. He already had a Zenith watch that was passed down to him from his grandpa. The day he went online to check out the watch, Zenith had just released a brand new series of expensive timepieces. And they made, get this, only 50 of them. He had gone to the website a day later, all of the watches would have been sold out. Taking this as a sign from God, he decided to make this one time big splurge and have something he could pass down to his children or grandchildren in the future. The 20 cent iced coffees. You didn't think we'd forget about the 20 cent iced coffees, did you? This guy is so frugal he refuses to spend $5 on Starbucks when he can make the same thing at home for practically a fraction of the price. And this is his life's philosophy. He lives a minimalistic lifestyle where he budgets every dollar that he makes and spends. He's smart with his money and that's why he managed to make $6 million by the time he was 30. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, did you watch the video where he tells how he managed to buy the Tesla for zero bucks? You can tell us what you think about it in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always. Thanks for watching guys.